Clerks is an independent comedy film that was directed, written, and produced by Kevin Smith and released in 1994. It shows a day in the life of two store clerks, Dante Hicks and Randall Graves. Along with other characters popping in throughout the movie, like Jay and Silent Bob. This is one of my favorite films of all time, and has an amazing backstory that I plan to cover in a future video. Today, we're going to talk about the biggest failure related to the movie, the Clerks sitcom pilot. Seeing that Clerks was a huge success, bringing in over $3 million at the box office, the next year in 1995, TV executives wanted to make a show based on the movie. The pilot episode features comedian Jim Brewer, who played the stoner in Half-Baked. It starts out with the description, Touchstone Television, and says, Not for Air, in bold print. I watched the full episode, and it's almost unbearable. The comedy and jokes just try too hard, in my opinion, and are cringeworthy at times. Just so you can get a feel of the episode, I'll show a clip of it here. So, uh, so what are you doing back in town? I thought you were going off to college. Graduated. Next week I start at Meyerson and Orbach in New York. That's a law firm. Oh yeah, yeah, Meyerson and Orbach. They were here last week for nachos. <laughs> so Dante, this is your life, huh? I really admire the way you never got caught up in that whole dignity thing. <laughs> Veronica. Cliff. Hi. Wait, well, you, you, you two know each other? Yeah, Cliff took out a girl from my accounting class. Not that she was my first choice. <laughs> well, Cliff, I would really love to stand here and chat forever, but we're getting ready to close. I thought you are open 24 hours. Yeah, but not at night. <laughs> what did you do that for? He's a nice guy. The guy's a narc and a coward. If you've gone to high school with him, you would know. Yeah, you remember the time we were painting Bookley Tower? <laughs> Why were you painting Bookley Tower? Oh, just a little thing called tradition. Hmm. Every year, a group of seniors would go up to the tower and deface it. Of course, kids these days can't be bothered. Punks. The writing is terrible, but how could it be so bad just one year apart from the successful movie Kevin Smith wrote? Well, that's just it. Kevin Smith was not even aware that the pilot was being filmed. Another thing that might shock you is that Brian O'Halloran, who played Dante in Clerks, and Jeff Anderson, who played Randall, auditioned for roles in the sitcom but didn't get the part. So the writer and two main actors of Clerks were not involved with the sitcom? This was a train wreck from the start. It looks like someone enjoyed the movie and wanted to turn it into something of their own. Reportedly, Jeff Anderson and Brian O'Halloran were glad they didn't get parts in the show after seeing how bad it was. The pilot was put together by Michael Lasik, who is attached to a number of low-budget films. It's rumored that Kevin Smith considered adding the episode to a 10th anniversary Clerks DVD, but didn't even make it through a few minutes of it and scrap the idea. Other than a review from 2006 by IMDb, the Clerks pilot episode was lost for 20 years until it was uploaded in full on January 25th of 2015. This was an attempt to turn Clerks into a TV-friendly sitcom, the comedy was just too turned down. Clerks just doesn't connect in that form. If you want to try and give it a watch, the pilot is on YouTube. I would like to know what you think of the pilot, so let me know in the comment section. I made a video about why the Clerks animated series and movie was cancelled. You can watch that by clicking here. That is the failed 1995 pilot episode of the Clerks sitcom. If you want to see more videos from the channel, be sure to turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when I upload a new one. Until next time, stay up late productions.